Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be exploring how to automate your tasks such as creating a research paper using Claude projects. And I'm going to be guiding you through everything you need to know about Claude projects such as how to start a project, use the custom instructions and automate your tasks. And we know that creating research papers involves a number of steps and by setting up a project in Claude you can automate everything from outlining to drafting sections and organizing your evidence helping you to produce a great paper. So let's get started. So in order to get started, we're going to head over to where it says projects, and then we're going to click on create project. And then it asks us what are we working on? So I'm just going to call it research paper drafter. And then it's asking us, what are you trying to achieve? So I'm just going to give a small description here, and I'm going to say draft and outline research paper, and I'm going to start my project create project. Okay, now once we're in to create project, this is the interface that we're going to see. Now I've got my title of my the task that I want to automate, which is research paper drafter, and I'm going to be able to add contents here. And this is the key area that we're going to be focusing on. And this is what will allow us to input that specialized material and project knowledge for automating our research project. So you'll see here that it says add your custom instructions, which we're going to be adding soon. And you have the option to add your content. This is, I would say, a bit similar to what we have with the GPTs in ChatGPT. And this allows you to create a context that is completely specialized for the project that you're working on. So before we actually start by inputting our custom instructions, what we need to do is think through the steps involved in our process. Now, our process is creating a research paper and I could actually write them myself, but in order to simplify the process, I can just head over to ChatGPT here and I'm going to put a simple prompt that says, what are the main steps involved in drafting an outline and writing a research paper? And you can see that ChatGPT comes back with the most important steps, such as choosing a research topic, conduct preliminary research, formulate a research question, create an outline, write the first draft, revise and edit and so on. Now, what we need to do is we need to turn these steps into the custom instructions for Claude. So I'm going to just add a second prompt here that says, write these steps as custom instructions that I can input into Claude projects so that it can help me automate the process. And I'm just going to enter that. Okay, and you can see it's come back with the custom instructions. It's got the objective at the top. Step one is the topic selection. Task is to identify the research domain and select a specific topic. So it tells you what the AI action is going to be and the prompt that it's going to be giving the user. So here are some suggested topics. Would you like to use one of these or provide your own and so on? And then the next step, preliminary research and so on. What I'm going to do now is take these custom instructions that I've just generated. I'm going to copy them all and then I'm going to go back to Claude and to um, click on set custom instructions. I'll find that the box opens in front of me and I'm going to paste in all these instructions for Claude and I'm going to save these instructions. Now that I've done that, Claude knows exactly what I want to be doing to automate my task. And then the next thing I need to do is add some content. What you can do here is add some relevant research papers that you want Claude to draw from. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to upload some documents from my device. And you can see now that I've added a few research papers that are relevant to my topic. And you can see that I've added about six papers and it's now completed 95% of the knowledge size that I can upload. So depending on the size of the files that you have, it will take about maybe six to 10 files. Now that we've completed these two steps, so we've added our content knowledge, we have our custom instructions all set. Now we can start looking at how this process is going to be automated. So I'm going to just write here, let's start the research project and I'm going to enter that. Okay, and now you'll see that we've started the process. It's now going to take all my custom instructions and it's going to lead me through the process of actually drafting and writing my research paper. So it's come back here and said, certainly I'd be happy to help you start your research project. Let's begin with step one, exactly as I wrote in my custom instructions, topic selection. To get started, we need to identify a research domain and select a specific topic. Here are some suggested topics, as I told it to suggest in my custom instructions. So I can either choose from these topics that is suggested and then it asks me, would you like to use one of these or to provide your own? So I'm just going to say, use this topic, AI in healthcare. Okay. And now that I've selected my topic, it's gone on to step two, which is 
uh, preliminary research. Now that we have our topic, let's conduct some initial research to gather background information. Here are some key concepts, themes, and initial sources related to AI in healthcare. Like I've said in custom instructions, always provide me with suggestions first and then ask the user whether they want to input their own. So at the end, it says, um, here are the suggested key concepts and sources. Again, would you like to use these or provide your own? So I'm just going to actually choose one of these. Um, let's choose number three. And I'm going to enter that so it can start working with this topic. After selecting predictive analytics for patient outcomes, it comes back and says, excellent, we'll focus specifically on predictive analytics for patient outcomes for your research project. And then it goes on to step three, which is the thesis statement development. And then based on our topic of predictive analytics for patient outcomes, here are some potential thesis statements. And again, it's coming up with the thesis statement. And then it asks me, would you like to use one of these or provide your own? For the sake of this demonstration, we're gonna use one that Claude has provided. So I'm just gonna enter the one that I've chosen. And then again, it says, this is a great choice. Now it uses that thesis statement that has been chosen. And it goes on to step four, which is organizing and synthesizing the information. And it's come up with these themes that I can use to draft and outline my research paper. And then it's also given me some key insights. Um, and then it says, would you like to adjust these or provide additional themes? So I'm just gonna say, let's use these themes. And obviously in every stage of the project, you can uh, add your own, you can add input more information, you can help direct it. But I'm just showing you the potential of how it can take you through that process really efficiently once you set up these custom instructions. So now that I've said, yes, let's go ahead with these themes. Now it's gone on to step number five, which is outline the structure. And you can see based on this information that we have just developed through this automated process, I now have a full outline with the introduction, the literature review, and it's focused on my specific topic, um, the methodology, analysis and discussion and so on, all the way down up until the references. And then it says there is a suggested structure for the paper. Would you like to use this outline? Provide your own. So I'm just going to say again, use this outline. And then based on this outline, it now goes on to step six, which is the main arguments and evidence. And then it gives me the main arguments that are again, related to that specific topic that I've chosen. So promise of predictive analytics in healthcare. It gives me three arguments for this point and then data quality challenges, another three arguments and so on for my entire paper. Here are the suggested arguments and evidence for each section. Would you like to use these or provide your own? Again, I'm just gonna use these in order to save time. And then again, it will move on to step number seven, which is transitions and flow. And then it takes me through the process of how I want to link the different areas between the main sections in analysis and discussion. Yeah, here are suggested transitions for your section. Would you like to use these? So again, I'm just going to use these. And now in review and revise, telling us that now we, we have our outline, we have our main arguments, we have the evidence, we have the transition in place. Let's review the overall structure. So, okay, I'm happy with the overall structure. So I'm just going to add here, yes, I'm happy with this overall structure. And now, because I'm happy with the structure and it knows that it can go ahead to step number nine, which is writing the research paper. You've seen how quick it was to just go through the steps because everything's now automated. Now we start writing the research paper and it starts off with the introduction. And then it goes on to say, would you like me to continue drafting the next section? Or would you prefer to review and potentially modify this introduction first? And obviously you would modify the introduction and you'd adapt it and you'd make it your own. Uh, but for the sake, again, for, of this uh, video, we're just going to say, let's move on. Now it's moved on to the literature review. It's added the instructions that we've said, which is include the citation, the in-text citations in APA format. And it's done that throughout the uh, literature review. And then it will ask you to go on uh, to the next section and so on. You can see we've been now able to automate the whole um, process of research paper drafting through giving Claude Project, a set of custom instructions. Uh, if you feel like it hasn't really responded to your instructions in the way you want, you can always go back to your project here, yeah, Research Paper Drafter, and go to your custom instructions and play around with them. So for example, if in topic selection, you want it to do a different action, you can always come here to AI Access, Potential Research Domains. You can just change that and play around with that. And as you trial and error this process, um, you will find that there are different things that you want to add and different things 
things that you may want to remove. But what it does is that every time you want to write a research paper, you have got that organized structure and it will help guide you through the next steps in such an easy way. And by the way, you can do this not just with research paper drafting, you can do this with any process that you would like to automate. So I hope you found this video useful and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.